Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another DPS idol video. So as you see, I got into the gold card. Uh, I had some, I'm pretty sure I had some questions about how to unlock the gold card. So I hope this answers any and all questions for that. And also I will be working towards ethereal and I'll be answering how to get to that. So your first gold card, honestly, it is a, it is a pain in the butt. It does take a bit and it also is basically just sitting here for 10 hours. That's all it is. So I'm going to explain exactly how I did it. So as you see, I'm at two quadrillion for the Merchant Guild, and I'm also at, I think it's around a million or ten million for um, the Warrior Guild, which I kept calling Gladiator in the other videos. Sorry about that, but for some reason, my brain just kept wanting to call it Gladiator, and it will probably continue to do so. Um, but yeah, so once you get your Merchant Guild maxed out, you get six free opens for like 30 chests or whatever. So what you want to do is you once you restart, and you kind of like get as far as you can and build up the chest. Do not buy any of the chests. Just saying that right now. Um, when you first get your first star, you can buy the blue chest. So basically, pump it up to 99. Buy the blue chest. Get all the cards that you can possibly get. Get the fish, uh, your bandit fish, and get your ice swords and boost as far as you get. Get as much gold as you can get. Um, I suggest at least having over one quadrillion on merchant gold or merchant multiplier for your guild so you can get more money. If you want to go to one quintillion, which honestly wouldn't take too long, it might take a bit, but it shouldn't take too long. If you want to do that just to be more safe, I suggest doing that. But you could easily do with one quadrillion. I just got to two. So um, basically what you do is once you restart and you get all these, every star you're going to basically, well, I would say three of them use on here. Um, and then we're going to use the other ones on here. So what you're going to do is when you first get in, um, where you buy the chest, there's the star above it. So you're going to use the star as soon as you can. And then you're going to buy out the rest when you're sitting on 99. Um, if you're wondering what the 99 looks like or whatever, right here, it starts on one, go to 99, you basically buy out all the rest and then you make a silver doesn't matter which silver you make then you're gonna do it again you use the star buy out the rest make a silver use the star buy out the rest make a silver now you can either do it three times or you can do it four I suggest honestly doing it four that's just my preference um, reason being is because honestly do not worry about the blue shards at all you will get them from the blue chest and honestly if you wanted to, you could technically use all six. So I would use, honestly, all six so you're not worrying about possibly not having enough money. So use the star, buy it out. Use the star, buy it out. Do all six on here. And now how you're going to get the blue shards. Basically buy out the chest until the point of where you're actually spending more blue shards than you are getting, which I'm pretty sure is around once it starts costing around like 50 as soon as it costs more than 50 stop that's where you're done and then another thing is is you go back and you basically go to wherever you can kill these guys get some more pearls from them or whatever these are called and then you go back again you go to the next dude which I've already grinded him so I can't get any from him now you're gonna go to your heroes hunter you literally put on the hunter and um, get as far as you can once you use all six you just keep buying 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 getting your silvers until you run into your blue stuff that you already have once you're out you basically throw on your hunter and you just leave come back in 10 hours you should be over level 10 and you just continuously get this and you get 50 spheres each time and voila you literally have an instant gold card so that is the easiest way to get it, especially because um, basically your guild, um, the merchant guild, with opening the chest. So how it works, if you were curious, is the price goes up for the chest as soon as you unlock a new card. So if you ever put it on times one, if you do not get a new card, the price does not go up. So that is why that star helps, because it covers the price. And the reason why I tell you to use it first before buying anything is because it will unlock as many cards as you can for free. It does not increase the price when you use it. And then you can buy out the rest. So I'm going to show you guys that quickly just to show you what I mean. Um, so the card that I'm going to get up is actually this guy just for the damage. Boom. 
we're going to restart so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about even though we could probably could have gotten farther but we're just gonna basically push through this and this is what I'm talking about so when you first go in you're gonna do this and you're gonna basically farm this up now pretend I don't have the gold card you will not be able to get as far as I'm getting right now because I have that dude so yeah um, and you're basically going to keep buying these guys out as much as you can. Not use any of the stars on them. There's no point. Then you're going to get the Merchant Guild. Now you should be able to get all three. You're going to go here and look. So as you see, this opens up it all. Now it costs 250k for me, but as you saw, price did not go up. Now let's just have it on one. See? I didn't get it. Price didn't go up didn't go up didn't go up boom I finally unlocked a new card and the price went up so basically that's how it works now what I'm saying is, is you use that do this perfect use a star unlock as many as you can buy it again silver do it again and again <laughs> And this is basically the cheat of exactly how to do it. And again. And again. <laughs> it's honestly this simple. So as you see, we started with what? 250,000. And it only went up to 1.7 billion. If we did not use those stars, we are looking at probably 1 trillion or even 1 quadrillion right now. And we can actually, actually, you know what? Let's go see what it would be at. I'm curious. So if we don't use those stars to unlock the cards, are you ready? Let's see. So it was 1 billion, right? Let's go. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> so let's just do this. Let's, I, I'm Look at that. We're already above 1 billion. Now do you understand why we use it? This is crazy. And that's only five and oh, we need more money. <laughs> there we go. And there's six. So that is basically where we would have been at. We're at 29 quint quintillion and we were at 1 billion. We're just using the stars. Another thing that you can do is as you see, when I unlock the merchant guild, we can now use the scroll now and when you use this you get all these bottom ones unlocked which is another two so that is eight that you have all together to unlock that is another thing you can use to help you get the gold cards if you wanted to and get them faster because you have two extra chests what i suggest you doing is using all eight here because the blue pearls are easy as i said you can just go on a hunter and now the hunter is actually easier to level up because the gold card gives you 25 experience. <laughs> so basically the hunter is going to level up way faster than it did before. And that's basically the process of getting gold cards. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And I hope I've kind of like clarified that and hope you understand it a little bit. So that's basically how you grind through it. Um, and then the blue deck to get that to gold. That's a whole different story. That is a push and a half, and I will explain that. That is going to be a lot of hunter levels with a lot of getting the spears and a lot of killing. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. That one's going to be very difficult. We're going to have probably a couple of gold cards here before we get one in here. But once I do, um, the first one you're going to get is bandit fish and then um, ice sword and then shark with hand. So basically, you guys will you'll see the progress, and once I get there, I'll explain that one too. But that is the easiest way to get this chest, um, and get the blue one. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I I don't remember. I I do remember that it was a pain in the butt, but I feel like I'll find a better way to do it, and hopefully, I can uh, clarify it to you guys and maybe walk you through it. So if there's anything that you guys didn't understand, just leave a comment down below and hopefully I can explain it more. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video for this. Peace.